Hello everyone and welcome to Usatility. Today we are going to see how to play Higgin Aerithal on PC using the brand new Bluestacks 5, that is designed for blazing fast speed and high octane action. We will be able to easily download and install Higgin Aerithal and enjoy the game on our Windows PC with keyboard, mouse and big screen thanks to Bluestacks 5, which is the Android emulator that we recommend to play Higgin Aerithal. So without further ado, let's get to it. First of all buddies, to start we have to launch our main internet browser. We selected the one we prefer. Let's go to that URL I'm highlighting in green color. Now, you're able to discover on the screen. There is no need to type the URL, simply because there's a clickable link in the video description and as well in the first pinned comment. We landed there on the website of Usatility, in which we find here in-depth information on how you can download and install Higgin Aerithal on personal computer. We scroll lower a little bit and simply click on the Download Game on PC button. Once clicking on that link, we reach the site of Bluestacks which the Android emulator that we are going to run to enjoy the game Higgin Aerithal on PC. As you can discover here we get a number of advantages of preferring using the emulator. Now we are on the way to start downloading the Higgin Aerithal by simply clicking on the button play on Bluestacks that you can see here in green color. We then click on this button. And the download takes no time at all. Here it is, here is located the download. It is a file we have to execute. What we are going to do now is to run the installer, OK, then we click on this file. If we are on Windows 10 it will have asked us for permission to allow modifications to the computer. We answered yes. I minimized the web browser to find the installation software much better. The installer is really straightforward. It contains two choices, install and setup path. I will show you what setup path really does. We purely click on it. And we note that we have now here the path where in fact the emulator is going to be set up. If we prefer to change for better this directory we are required to click on that, browse, option, and now we decide on another directory and install the emulator precisely where we would like. To keep it simple, just keep it by default. I simply click back, and I pick install. Now, there it is. The install commences and it's going to move forward together with the download of those MB which are shown on this screen. As you download it, it could be more or less megabytes. The data transfer rate could go faster or at a lower speed, determined by your web access and depending on the performance of the emulator web servers. Right away they're working super fast. The download is finished, and now it proceeds with the installation phase. With Bluestacks 5 you can even reduce RAM usage with a single click. Especially useful if you ever face performance related problems. In addition, you can activate Eco Mode to enjoy 87% reduced CPU usage, 97% reduced GPU usage and easier multitasking. As you can see, Bluestacks 5 is built to provide stability and performance during long gaming sessions. The installation has already finished for me. Now, the emulator has actually been started immediately. As you can see, at the bottom of the screen, there's a progress bar that will move forward to the right and once it attains the finish, the emulator is going to be started for the first time. In reality the emulator has been started, here it is for the first time. Before we continue, as now you can see, it has made two software icons there on the computer desktop. The Bluestacks and Bluestacks Multi Instance. Note that the Bluestacks software icon will be the only one we're considering. At any time when we want to operate Higgin Aerithal on the PC, we twice click this particular app icon and therefore run the emulator. The Bluestacks multi-instance icon allows you to launch multiple emulator instances. And with Bluestacks 5's new improved multi-instance manager in eco mode, players can run more game instances faster and with less lag. Let's conduct the following step. That is a requirement, and this is to log on to the Google Play Store. And we'll just click on Play Store. As you can discover the Google Play is presented. Right here we must sign in. At this moment once we're there, we have to conduct this following step which is absolutely mandatory. So that we simply click on, sign in. Now it announces, checking info. It could in some cases get stuck in, checking info, and so it fails to advance. If so, you may attempt to log in in after a couple of hours and it will surely most probably be solved. Now we're going to insert our username and password. The email address ought to be a Gmail email address and its matching password. For example you can utilize the same email you use at this time in your own YouTube account. Thus I am going to submit my details and I'll return as soon as I have completed it. That's it, info typed in. This is Google welcoming us and supplying us their twos. We will say yes to them all by simply hitting, I agree. Next, it allow us to save to the Google Cloud. You might leave it selected and this will make a backup of your data on that device to Google Drive. I am not going to select it, you can utilize that option if you wish. We mouse click on accept. Google Play is started automatically and instantly. To set up the application, we have got to get to the emulator desktop by simply clicking on the app icon marked green colored. Now that we are discovering the desktop of this emulator, we notice that we find right here the install app button. We then click on this button. Here we have got the game app. 
Why don't we press now on the install choice that I am showing now in green. And it will commence the software installation. At this point it would install the Android game, it will take a bit of time or perhaps it might possibly be amazingly quickly. It all relies on the web connection. It says I've now finished setting up. Now, let's go to the emulator desktop by simply clicking on this particular option that I am showing in green, if you want to use Higginerithal for the first time. We are at present on the emulator desktop, and then we're about to just click on the brand new Higginerithal app icon that's being provided. The game app is started for the very first time. Now there we end up with it. I can also press anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I will talk about the sound level of this emulator. It's here. We have got the icon of higher volume along with the icon of lower volume. This manner we won't count on the Windows volume to increase or decrease the sound experience of the emulator. And to appreciate the experience to the maximum, we should turn on the large monitor, for which we have two choices. This is simply the very first one. We simply click on this particular icon which I am basically showing in green color and the display screen is maximized, enjoying one border on top, one on the right side and the third one at the bottom. In case we need to experience the video game using all the screen, we click this particular application icon. And we might at present be experiencing the video game in 100% screen function. To quit the 100% screen mode, just click the F11 key. And we just end up being in regular computer screen setting. Now I am choosing to present you the computer keyboard mapping that is certainly rather enjoyable. This strategy we will certainly be ready to use the video game far more easily. The very first point is to click this application icon. It's now time to get the required configuration settings. I most certainly will let the default settings, but if you need to change it, you may well achieve it with no problem. Obviously, the emulator is entirely in our own language. From time to time it occurs that your emulator is started in the incorrect language, for instance, in Chinese language. And consequently to set it up in the proper language we go there to the cogwheel. And right here throughout various other options, we simply click on the language drop down. We can easily determine the language we wish, Spanish, Mandarin, and so forth. After the language is selected, we are going to save, the emulator would restart, as well as the video game, next time we start it, would of course be in the picked language. At this moment, you can find another element that we will need to take into consideration, and this is that we will get a message from Google Mail indicating that a different equipment has been linked to our own Google account. It will ask us if we're the ones who have associated with that electronic device. Indeed, we may not get worried, considering that the emulator is simulating an Android smartphone or tablet. And to find which smartphone or tablet is being emulated, we return right here, to the cogwheel and we then click on it. And we browse here to the, model, choice. And right here we notice that the emulator is simulating a Samsung mobile. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. That's all guys, so much for that training. I anticipate you appreciated it, especially that everyone found it interesting. If that is so, allow it a great thumb up, subscribe, and any remarks, concerns or ideas, let them in the comment box down below. You could also leave a comment on my Twitch channel, I do live streams every now and then, you get it down below in the video description and in the initial pinned comment. Mouse click on any of these videos that happens to be showing up on the suggestion of videos to watch and see you in the future instructional videos. Bye.